we're back with our mommy hood to Hollywood host, Michelle. Hey, ladies. How are you? Hi, Michelle. Michelle. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about what you're going to talk about today. Oh, yes, it's I, have your, I have your celebrity <laughs> baby mama news. Yes. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's chat about Drew Barrymore, who is oh. so obviously preggers. She's right. totally pregnant, but she has not confirmed it at all. However, she is rumored to be having a baby girl. How do oh, we know so she's cute. pregnant? Haven't you seen her, her picture? I thought yeah. it was confirmed. I thought it was no, all out there. No, no, no. no. she's no. definitely pregnant, but she has not confirmed it. Nobody's confirmed that she hasn't had her people well, confirm it. Well, good for it. her. You yeah, know, I mean, she's a she has to. But it's obvious. Yeah, she okay. has a baby bump. And also, um, it was spotted, her carrying an ultrasound oh, earlier. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so. Not having a baby. Yeah. No, no. me. <laughs> <laughs> Sources say she's having a baby girl. Okay. And apparently, she had a... I guess you could say a slash combined wedding and baby shower in April. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, so she's going to be getting married as well. <laughs> so she had so, the wedding and the baby, baby. shower. Yep, uh -huh. all in one. Oh, all right. That's how we got to call it. That's not waste any time, huh? That's not waste any time. All tied up in a pretty little bow, just one thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you so go, Drew. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm happy for her. She seems pretty content, so okay. good for her. She's going to be a great mom. And, of course, Jessica Simpson, I swear she had the longest pregnancy in the world. She did. like she was... Right? Oh I don't know what How it is. Weeks? I mean, it seemed like she was pregnant forever, but she it finally did. had her baby. <laughs> okay. You know why, though? Because she was on there talking about it all the Maybe. time. Maybe. You know, that's, day, yeah. you know she always confirmed it day one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. she gave birth to a baby girl. Her name's Maxwell Drew Johnson. Cute name. Like the name. That's a cute so name. I love the name. The baby was nine pounds and 13 ounces. Wow. wow. So what a big one. baby. Yeah. And especially know. for our first one, usually they say your first one's your smallest, and yeah. then as you have more. You can't get, go by that. My yeah, dad weighed 13 pounds, oh, and it was really? my mom's, and my grandma's first baby. Yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> a nine pound baby. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but um, you know, the thing about Jessica Simpson is, and well, it seems like even before her pregnancy, she's always under the scrutiny of her weight all the time. Mm -hmm. People are always, I mean, she does tend to fluctuate back and forth, but I've never, I never thought she looked unhealthy though, ever. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, during her pregnancy and during the entire pregnancy, people criticized her for gaining mm -hmm. too much weight. Now, obviously she had a, she had a big baby, you know, yeah. she yeah, had right. a baby that was on the Absolutely. heavier side. So, and Thank God she had a healthy baby. That's really the most and important that's thing. Important. Yeah. Yeah. But she was under a lot of scrutiny. So, I mean. But that's because Hollywood is crazy with their standards of what size you should be. They want you to be a stick. Yeah. A and lot I think of the, the time. media are just looking for stories sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Something yeah. to talk about. Well, but, you know, it's ridiculous. But there is a pressure. But right. when you're pregnant, you shouldn't have to worry about. I'm right. so sick of this. Yeah. You shouldn't have to worry about being thin when you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, you should be worrying about the being baby. healthy, uh -huh. the baby right. being healthy. Mm -hmm. But and I don't you're know. Putting on weight, great. You know. I don't know if you felt this way, but I felt that way when I was pregnant. I felt like I had to look a certain way. I had to have you know the skinny legs and and just the bump yes. there. But and if I had that, you know, people would be like, "Oh, you look perfect. You look great." But I'm like. You know, it, it just matter. happened naturally. Well, why did you yeah. feel, I just need to be. Why, why did you feel like that? Yeah. Right. Put that because of on the you. media. I didn't, they have I certain didn't feel outfits, that way at all, but outfits. I lost weight. I lost 15 <laughs> pounds during my pregnancy, and I never looked pregnant. I was you, month. Charlotte. I oh, was wow. like, oh, I was so I'm good. Lucky. I yeah. never bought maternity clothes my entire wow. pregnancy. Oh my gosh. Wow. Not me. Yeah. Okay. I, I put on like 39 pounds. And everybody used to say, oh, Michelle, you're just all belly. But I mean, I was, I gained a lot of weight. I was big, you know. But, you're but I, to. You're yeah, yeah, so but you I wasn't concerned about it yeah. at all when I was pregnant. But now here's the thing now she's had the baby. So what's the next thing? Everybody's going to lose, lose it. Yep. Yeah. Lose the weight. Everybody's going to be looking seconds. to see how quick she loses it. <laughs> right. And I think this is terrible it because is. you know what? First of all, that's pressure on the celebrity because they're already in the media, so they right. feel like they have, instead of focusing on being a mom, mm -hmm. taking care of her baby, she has to focus on working with How her nutritionist, getting right. back into shape as soon as possible. And this is ridiculous, not it only is. for the celebrities, but it's even more ridiculous for the everyday woman because let's face mm -hmm. it, we don't have the nutritionist. We right. don't have right. that you know celebrity trainer with us every single day. It's not our full-time job to look good. So what kind of message does that give you know, to women, the every, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. To women mm -hmm. everywhere. I just, I just feel like, oh, just, just stop it's it already. Much. You know, I mean, it's too much. It's literally an obsession. You have Mariah Carey on the cover of Shape. Yeah. Yes. You just had her baby. Mm -hmm. I know it's been, you have Beyonce. And it's, yes. I mean, so it's like the media is really pub heightening those women losing weight and what they look like and if how I mean because they want the standard for women to be is a superwoman you Absolutely. have to do everything yeah so like in three months our bodies are supposed to bounce back like that give me a break it took me a year a year to lose all the baby weight and you know what 
I didn't even concentrate it. I, I said I didn't even concentrate on it for the first six to eight months. During when I was getting close to that year point, I'm like, you know what? I should hit the gym. But I was too busy learning to be a new mom. Right. Yeah. Right. I was too busy taking care of my baby. And not just taking care of her, but enjoying my baby. Right. It wasn't my first priority to go hit the gym. That right. just wasn't you know what? it. And that's good for you that you didn't let society standards. You know, but there's a lot more you. pressure on it, women in entertainment because their career depends on their weight a lot Absolutely. of times. Yeah. You know what, Charlotte, I don't think that we can just say women in entertainment. I think that weight is an obsession yeah. for women. Yes, it is. I it think is. that it it's, is. that's why you have Shape Magazine and you have all of these mm -hmm. Uh, conversations about weight. But that obsession because comes from somewhere. Like literally it's in front of us every day that this is how we're right. supposed to look because there was a time when women who were fuller and bigger were what the standard of a woman that, should look like should be. Ideal. Yeah, that was the ideal woman. And now, like, once they started putting skinny, stick thin women on the runways, then everybody yeah. wanted to run to Models the next thing. But did you yeah, hear the I mean, great news from Vogue magazine? They had they, they just talked about not having anorexic. Which is that's great. Yeah. It, that's really West revolutionary. Day. But now, but we're talking about women just in everyday life. But it's totally different with a woman who just had a baby. Are we really going to put those same standards on a woman who just had a baby? It's crazy. I hate to see these celebrities, I mean, great, they will go out three months after they had a baby and they're walking the runway, you know? <laughs> they're out there strutting a bikini. But hello, I do not have the resources Absolutely. to have a nutritionist and trainer with me 24-7. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a real job. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I love the celebrities, right. obviously. But I mean, their job is to look good. Absolutely. So that is part of their real yeah, job. Yeah, it is part of their it's job. It's to get exactly. into shape. Okay. But I mean, the, the stay-at-home mom who has three kids and, you know, they're living on one income. Yeah. She okay, doesn't but have wait a minute. Resources. Wait a minute. The women get that much pressure after Hold on. To I got to go with something I, you I said, I Michelle. Think they do. So if you're saying if somebody's overweight, they don't look good? No. Because you no, said no. the pressure is for them to look good. And I'm oh. so you see what I'm saying? Oh. We even position in our mind and I, and I think that that's a wonderful oh, point well, that I you I feel like I'm in, getting in trouble now. Oh, no, not that you bring out, but it's true. If you look a certain way, you quote unquote look good. Mm -hmm, and and I think that that's the core of all of this. And I, I think that honestly, the emphasis should be more on health versus exactly. weight. Right. Because right. honestly, that makes more sense. Like if you're if you have a baby, yes, I don't think you should just let yourself go and decide. Okay, well now no. I can just gain all the weight I want to because I had a baby. No one's going to say anything. I think you should give yourself a time limit. You know. To lose it. I, I well, do, and that's why when I, for me personally, when I hit, when I was starting to get closer to the one year, I said, you know, I need to finish losing the rest of this weight. Smart. And but you know what, it Michelle? wasn't my emphasis, though. You did fabulous. Mm -hmm. All of you ladies, you look good. Stay tuned. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> you ladies look yeah. fabulous. But it's true. I mean, that was a good point that you made.